Greetings my friends, welcome to Berchtesgaden National Park. This is one of the most famous locations in Germany and we are close currently to Salzburg. Actually we are not far from Hintersee where I filmed my first video. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it up here, make sure to check it out. That was my first video I ever created. <laughs> Today I'm going to do a hike in Klausbachtal Valley and I hope to find the 15th and the 10th highest mountains located in Germany. They are both on the border with Austria, but the point to where I'm headed should give a good view on both of them. The two peaks I set my sights on for this hike were the Stadelhorn and the Hochheispitze. I was trying to kill two birds with one stone because my stamina is not where it used to be due to the illness I am still recovering from. I had to take a break because of it and I hope to pick up the pace on the project with getting the images of two mountains. The two peaks belong to two different neighboring mountain ranges, both being the highest peaks of each. Stadelhorn is the highest and most prominent peak of the Reiter Alpe and Hochheispitze is the tallest of the Hochheis group in the Hochkalter Massif. My plan is to go to the hanging bridge in the Klausbachtal Valley and possibly down to Bindam near the Austrian border. It's autumn and as you can see behind me the scene is fantastic. The trees are changing colors, the leaves are getting already yellowish, reddish color. It's raining. There is a good shelter here. So this station is a red deer feeding station in winter. Not in summer or autumn, only in winter. And tourists or visitors or anyone can come here and watch the deer. The rain was not heavy and the clear sky was expected later in the afternoon, so we continued the hike. So I made it to the bridge and well Many pictures are taken from the other side of the bridge. The mountain is well visible. But if I'd like to take that picture as well, I would need to go through the bridge. I'm battling my vertigo right now and I'm thinking hard whether I should pass through the bridge or not. This sturdy rock looks good. But as people were passing through, I was looking anxiously at the moving bridge. I always have an angst on bridges, even on massive sturdy ones. And when it's moving, well, I haven't crossed the hanging bridge for more than 20 years. This time, I decided it was time to conquer my fear. Oh, thank goodness. Whew. If I want to take a picture from this side, I cannot use my 24 to 70 um, because I cannot include the whole mountain. I have to use a wide angle lens, but I don't really like wide angle lenses because the subject looks 
smaller in comparison with the foreground. But yeah, let's take a test shot. Many hikers love to capture the mountain with bridge in the foreground, but for me this spot wasn't inspiring at all. To get the bridge and the mountain in the same frame, a wide angle had to be used, but this made the peak looking significant. On top of this, the bridge was directing the eye away from the subject and not towards it. Also, the bridge has these huge concrete anchors that are distracting. It was time to move on. Now this looks more like it. For a change I got here early. So the sun is still high up and the light is still harsh. I take this time to uh, check a few compositions. First I'm going to take a close-up of the mountain peaks to capture the details of the rock formation. I'm at 50 mm um, with ISO 64 f8, one tenth of a second and manual focus The second composition I have in my mind is to include the valley. Because the valley is in deep shadow as the sun goes down, I'm going to bracket the images. So I go and select three shots. I don't like the distraction caused by this fence pose in the foreground, so I'm going to the next hill and try to make a composition from that side to get rid of them. I came further down to eliminate the distraction in the foreground and now I have these two roads that I am including in my composition as um, leading lines. With the colorful trees in the valley and the soft late afternoon sunlight, the picture turned out beautiful. Thank you for watching, see you next time, bye! 
image taken from here is not working. The image taken. <laughs> the image, the image taken. <laughs> the image taken from here is not working. And I crossed the bridge for it.